I am truly honored to be named a Woman of Distinction by the Girl Scouts. To receive an award with such an incredible group of women is truly an honor. This award means everything to me. I can't even easily put it into words. What means so much to me about receiving this award is that I was selected by my peers. I am incredibly humbled and grateful to be a recipient of the Women of Distinction Award and to stand beside some incredible company. Oh my gosh, I, I'm just so honored to have been considered for this award, to even be nominated. I was never a Girl Scout growing up. To make up for that time lost, I try to spend as much time as I can around Girl Scouts and to be constantly inspired by them and our next generation of young leaders. I am a lifelong Girl Scout. I was a Girl Scout leader for many years as well and a camp counselor. Um, started in brownies because we didn't have daisies back in the day and went all the way through to seniors, which was the top of the food chain at that time. I go to every meeting I'm invited to and I just can't wait to follow their adventures, their journeys, and their accomplishments. My favorite Girl Scout memory was definitely going camping. Probably my favorite Girl Scout memory is receiving my gold award. I went camping with my mom, I went camping with my dad, and then I went camping solo with my neighbor, who we were in Girl Scouts together. Camping with my dad was fun, but camping alone without my parents was the first time I really ever had some independence. So that was, that was a cool, awesome experience. My Girl Scout Gold Award was about bringing together troops from across Pennsylvania to share best practices um, through song. And I think it's kind of cool um, as an entrepreneur and to be celebrated for building a successful business in this great category of entrepreneurship that what I started out doing as a Girl Scout, I ended up building an entire company to do exactly that. My work as an adult was as inspired by my experiences at that age. So I long to see what is inspiring you and how you will impact the world. You know, I have two girls, so I have the unfair advantage of asking them this question, and the response was to listen to them. But at the end of the day, um, all they need is for you to listen to them, for you to support them, for you to comfort them, and for you to encourage them. And they're so impressionable, so building them up right now is going to be even more important than down the road. So. Um, keep that in mind, even if you're just a standby, right? Like if you're if you're an aunt and uncle, um, somebody that doesn't live with, with girls um, every day, if you're just a friend, a neighbor, building girls up is not that difficult to do, but it, every positive word um, carries its weight. So keep that in mind. My favorite Girl Scout cookie is definitely is Samoa. My favorite Girl Scout cookie for sure is Thin Mints. I think I have a problem. My favorite cookie, Samoa. Easy. Caramel and coconut are amazingly delicious. <laughs> I have about six or seven um, sources of, you know, uh, cookies and I tap into all of those. I mean, it is like brokering a deal. And me and my mom always had Girl Scout cookie battles because she loves Thin Mints. I love Samoas. I always wanted more of those. She always wanted more Thin Mints. I can't pick just one favorite Girl Scout cookie, although I usually lean towards Toffee Tastic. And I get so many boxes um, at a time that I almost am so tempted to buy a separate fridge um, just to house them, like a freezer, because I know that they'll keep all year long. And when I do run out, it's, it's really devastating. I always say I'm not a competitive person um, because truly I just want you to win too. And if we go through life with that idea, I think cheering for everyone, um, that's what the outcome will be. I mean, it, it sounds so 
simple, but honestly, just without judgment, help, help each other out. Um, listen to one another. Sometimes that's all we need is just an open ear, right? Without judgment. Um, we don't necessarily even need words back, right? Like we just need someone to, to hear us, to listen to us, to maybe just be um, a source of comfort for us. And that in and of itself is, is support. Words matter. They can bring clarity or confusion, hope or despair. They can build people up, help them and support them, or they can tear them down and undermine them. In today's society, I think it's especially important that we're thinking about how we use our words. Whether they're spoken words or written words or private Snapchats or public billboards. There are a finite number of words in our language, but we have limitless opportunities to use them to make a positive difference. Let's make sure we're doing so. If there's a way to connect people together, if there's a way to promote one another, if there's a way to say a positive word without expecting something in return, that is also support. In a way that doesn't need to be illustrated any other way than to just do it for the good of supporting another friend or another woman or another business owner or uh, another human. I'm most proud of my ability to overcome obstacles, tell me there's something I can't do, and, and I'll I'll try and prove you wrong. I have always strived to be a positive force, to be a multiplier that makes the people around me better, more energized, and more inspired. So thank you for this recognition. Coming from a developing country with very limited opportunities, I feel like I was so lucky along the way having so many people that kind of helped me carve this path for myself, cheering me on, supporting me. Um, you know, I, I stand on the shoulders of giants and I certainly feel that um, today. So I, I'm just so grateful. My ability to have initiative and drive and, and want to always succeed has, has got me to where I am. And I always tell people that I have an influence on, that, that you can do anything in the world that you want to do just by wanting to do it. Growing up, my mom was, without a doubt, my greatest inspiration. Life threw her a whole lot of curveballs, and she was so impressive in how she handled each one. She took the reins, not letting the circumstances define who she was. Nor did she let any level of chaos, and there was plenty, distract her from enjoying the good things in life, the fun. So thank you, Mom. All my heroes are women, and I am so honored to be here with all of you today. Thank you. And I hope that, you know, I can be the one to help others kind of carve their way um, as well. So thank you. I'm so honored to have received this award. Just knowing that I'm going and making a difference in someone else's life and to have somebody look up to me and think, hey, that could be me someday, um, especially in a male-dominated field, is truly incredible. It's one of the best feelings that anyone could ever have. Anyone who knows me well knows that I appreciate um, and value what a peer group brings to my life and have pretty much made it my life's work to create the space for other people um, to connect with their peers as well. So to be held in esteem by those I care about, it's pretty awesome. And I thank you. <laughs>